In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create bookable appointment slot calendars for your school email account. If you look here, I'm looking at the office hours for an account called PAC. Now I'm looking at this calendar and I can click any of these office hours and I can book that time, say where I'd like to meet, what I'd like to meet about, and then press save. And now I have officially booked that 12 to 12.30 slot. I'm going to flip over to this account called PAC at gcds.net and show you that this time I booked is now set. Both members are in this meeting. It automatically creates a Google Meeting uh, link for you and a phone number to join from. Now, let's say you want to make your very first appointment slots calendar. Here's how you get started. First, you go to your Google Calendar. You can get there from your uh, Gmail or any other Google product by clicking the waffle and selecting Calendar. Now let's say, for example, I want to create office hours on Wednesday the 18th from 12 to 2. If I click and drag, I'm creating an event and I can say office hours. Now before I hit save, there are several options underneath that title. One of them is appointment slots. If I click appointment slots, I now get uh, a start and end date. I can change this to be one giant two hour block or I can subdivide that time into smaller units. If I click more options, there's more here with find a time and event details, which we won't go over right now. But what's interesting about these types of events is they create an appointment page. I'll hit save and I'll show you what this does. So you'll notice as opposed to other calendar events, there's a little grid next to the title of the event. If I click these, I can see that there's automatically a link created that says go to appointment page for this calendar. This appointment page looks different from the one that I saw before. Notice these blue blocks here. If you are the owner of the appointments page, if you are creating your own open office hours, this will also show you your events on your personal calendar. But if I'm looking at this as a guest, I don't actually see your personal events. I only see your open office hours that you have available. However, if I'm looking at your calendar, I can see my own events on here. So I can see if there's a conflict between those two things. So now that we've created some office hours, I'm going to create one more over here. Um, we'll call this office hours. And by the way, if I go back to more options, Let's say I want those to be every Friday or every Thursday. I click the does not repeat and I can say this happens every day, weekly, monthly. You can choose. You can make even your own rules about it. So now I have three different days of office hours. So what can I do from here? Well, what if I want people to be able to book times with me through the signature of my email? So if I send you an email, it will say at the bottom, book an appointment or book, check my office hours schedule. How can I do that? Well, if I click any of my office hours times I've just created and I go to the appointments page for this calendar, this is a live website. This is a link. I can copy this link and go to my email. And I'm going to make this link part of my signature for my email. Notice how right now I've written a message, but there's nothing down here. There's no signature on this email. To add a signature to your email, press the gear box, go to settings. And if you scroll down on the general page, you'll reach a spot that says signature. By default, there's a bubble that says no signature, but we're going to choose to put a signature here. And in this box, you can choose how you want to write it. 
Um, I'm going to check this before I even start. Insert the signature before quoted text in replies and remove the dot dot line that precedes it. If you want to leave it unchecked and see what it looks like, why don't we just do that for fun? Okay, in this box, I'm just going to choose to write book and open office hour by clicking here. I don't know. We'll highlight that text and use the link tool and paste the link that we got up here. So remember, we got that link. I'm going to close all of these just so you can see that again. I click either of my office hours, go to the appointment page for the calendar, and copy this big link up here. And now these words will be linked to that calendar. Once you've added it, scroll to the bottom of your settings and press save. Once you've saved, every email you compose from this point forward will add a signature for you. And this signature, when people click on it, will go to your office hours page. So in only a few short steps, we've created an open office hours page. We've added times that are bookable on that page. And we've given people an easy way to actually book those appointments. I need to add two points to this. One is those times can only be booked by people inside of your organization. So students, other teachers, anyone with the same email address, so in our case it's anyone with a gcds.net email address, can book an open office time. However, if I send this to people outside of our organization, such as parents, they will not be able to utilize this feature. I hope someday maybe Google changes that, but at the moment that is not the case. Another important point to remember is that it is up to you to actually create those open office hours. So if you know that every day from you know uh, a certain given time, so every day from 7 to 8.30, you want to have open slots, and it's a particular day of the week or every day, it's really easy to just set that up to be a recurring time. So instead of saying it never repeats, make it a weekly occurrence. That way, people will always see times that are available. By the way, when I refresh this appointment slot page, I can see those Tuesday office hours are now available for booking.